Yes. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Aksha. Okay. So the chapter that we are going to start is fluid mechanics, right? Now, before starting this chapter, I want you to uh, recall whatever the concepts we have studied in states of matter in chemistry, okay, or about uh, fluids in class ninth, right? So I hope all of you are aware about. The basic properties, right? What is the basic definition of fluid? What is the meaning of fluid? And the properties. Now, when we talk about fluids, can anyone tell me what is fluid? This is something that we have discussed in last uh, chapter also, right? What is fluid? Yes, very good, Abhiram. So, fluid is anything that flows, right? That flows. Makes sense? And what are the things that flows? Tell me, what is the state of matter which flows? Tell me everyone. Liquid. Yes. So it's liquid and gas, very good. So we have studied about gas in chemistry. I hope all of you remember gas is state, right? Okay, so we will study about liquids in this chapter, okay, right? We will study about liquids in this chapter, right? So let's start with a basic uh, recall test. I hope all of you remember the basic concepts, right? So let's start with a basic recall test. Okay, everyone? Okay, so we will start fluid statics. So in fluid, we have fluid statics and fluid dynamics, okay? So today we will talk about fluid statics, right? Okay, so we, we have a small recall test. Till everyone join, let's have the small recall test. So tell me guys, what is dimension of ratio? Tell me everyone, dimension of ratio? What do you think what it is? Guys, everyone, please respond. Okay, Samya. Everyone else? Yeah. Message, message. Okay, because everyone else will know, na? Right? Well, actually, my chat is not working, I think so. Okay, okay. No issues. So, first is A, pressure is force per unit area. Okay, right? Okay. Second one. Pressure is dash quantity. What do you think? Reshma, try to message. Yes. Okay. Okay, I got answer from Karishma, Amish, Samya, Nishita. Okay, Srihari also, Ranak. Okay. So I'm getting mixed answers, A as well as B. So we will see, right? Third, fluid is a substance which offer no resistance to change of, tell me, pressure, flow, shape, and volume. Offer no resistance, right? No resistance at all. Think about it. Okay, I'm getting two answers, three answers, okay? Okay, we'll see that. Fourth one, Bernoulli's equation is a consequence of, fourth one, if you have pre-read, then only you can answer. Bernoulli's equation is a consequence of conservation of? Okay, no issues, we'll see. Okay, this is about pre-reading. Okay, what is the relative density of mercury? What is the relative density of mercury? Anyone who remember this? Yes, okay. 
Very good. Right? So let's see the answers. So everyone is correct in question number one and question number five. Okay. Right? Four, those who knew are correct. Now two and three. Two and three. Pressure is a scalar quantity, right? It's not a vector quantity. Okay. Because when you talk about pressure, just think about it. Do you say that we are applying this much pressure in north or we are applying this much pressure in south? Think about it. Right? Okay. Now, third is shape. Because when you talk about fluid, right, the answer will not be pressure or flow or volume. Because when you talk about fluid, just like if, if, it will offer no resistance in pressure, flow, or volume, right? It will try to keep on flowing. It will try to, it will, it will not have any change in pressure like that, right? Think about it. Yes or no? Or when you just put your uh, palm on water, right? Don't you feel any kind of resistance? Right? And resistance, what is the meaning of resistance? Resistance means it doesn't offer any kind of opposition. Just think about it, right? Drop your uh, uh, liquid on your floor. Will it continue to flow throughout the life, right? Will it ever stop or not? Think about it. Will it keep on moving? Right, so obviously, yes. So it will have some resistance, okay? Right? Okay. So I guess all of you understood this. Okay. The next thing that we are going to study, okay, is about the basic terminology. What is fluid? What is fluid mechanics? Okay. Because this topic is about fluid mechanics. Right? Now, when you talk about fluid, when you talk about fluid, we understood what is the definition of fluid. Okay. It is basically any object, right? Or any type of matter which can flow. Okay, got it. And in last chapter, we studied that when you talk about shear stress, okay, right? Shear stress, shear strain or modulus of rigidity. We studied about this, right? Okay. Now, what do you think? What would be the properties of fluid? Think about it. What would be the properties of fluid? It's already written over here, but try to think. What do you think? What would be the properties of fluid? Tell me guys, I hey, don't you think that the, when you talk about fluids, right? Just think about gas now. That's what we have studied because it will be almost the same. Okay. Just think about gases state only, right? Okay. Yes, it flows easily. And what property is that? It is viscosity, right? It is viscosity. Yes. The property which is associated with the flow of any object is called as viscosity, right? Then density. Density, surface tension, okay, surface tension, right? Then bulk modulus of elasticity that we have studied, right? It is associated with pressure. Then specific gravity. Now, what is specific gravity? Tell me. How many of you remember specific gravity? Specific gravity is relative density. That's it, right? All of you should remember we have studied this in gaseous state, right? Specific gravity is relative density. Okay, relative density. Right, everyone? Yes. Okay. Now, when you talk about fluids in this chapter, we have to assume some some uh, something that we have to assume. For example, when you talk about gases state, right? When you talk about ideal gas, we assume some parameters, yes or no? We assume that the gas, when you talk about the gas, ideal gas, right? There's no force between the each molecules and the volume of gas is very less, right? That's something that we have assumed in gases state. Now, in the same way, in the same way, when we talk, when we talk about fluids, we will have some assumptions. What are those assumptions? The first assumption is we can consider fluid as incompressible, okay, right? What is the meaning of incompressible? For example, unlike gases, right? In gases, we studied that we can compress the gases or the gases were compressible, okay? But fluid, 
as solids we will consider as incompressible even though you can argue okay so it can be compressed to some extent but in this right in physics what we are studying now we will assume that it is incompressible right which means the density as well as volume is not going to change got it right got it unless and until unless and until we talk about stress bulk modulus and the volume in stress we won't be talking about this change in volume okay got it for so make our calculation easy some as simple as that right because if we won't consider this then unless whenever force is applied the volume will also change the density will also change so we cannot calculate right got it okay so this is just to make our calculation easier okay so whatever we talk about the change in pressure or change in uh, what you can say force right okay we won't be considering that there's a change in volume unless and until it is specifically mentioned and bulk modulus of elasticity is given okay got it right okay this second assumption is fluid as non viscous right which means there's no tangential force between two layers right this is the assumption that we make means this there's no tangential force on this layer this is just the assumption that we have assumed okay right now let's talk about the terms that is associated with this chapter the first term is pressure i hope all of you know what is pressure tell me i hope all of you know what is pressure right so pressure is force per unit area okay now the definition of pressure right the definition of pressure is basically same for gases as well as liquid okay the definition of pressure will not change right or definition of pressure will not change for any substance okay it is change in area so change in force by area or force per unit area now when you talk about liquid just think about it okay when you talk about liquid right suppose you put something inside the liquid right so and you want to find the pressure on this you want to find the pressure on this now what did what do you think how can this liquid is applying pressure on this object tell me think about it suppose i want to find the pressure on this point right how can we find it tell me can i say that just think about it na right don't you think that this is the same as you carrying this amount of water think about it right i'm just taking water as a liquid over here right right just suppose if you are carrying a luggage like this think about it if you're carrying a luggage on your head whose mass is m right and the area of your head is a right so can you say that okay there will be pressure on your head because of this mass yes or no tell me everyone yes or no yes and that pressure will be force because of this which is mg by the area of your head right because the area that we are talking about is the area of contact right okay now don't you think that this is the same thing which will happen over here right okay because when talk about this point above this point all this water is present all this water is present right okay and this water is applying a force right which is a gravitational force right in downward direction yes or no and if you take any substance over here with some area right there will be pressure on that got it everyone tell me got it okay okay now think about it think about it so i said that okay it is just the same as the example that i said so i can say that okay pressure is force per unit area right and force is mass into gravity by a right but how could how can i find the mass of this object right mass of this liquid right because we will be given what we will be given the density right we will be given the density and suppose we know this height h h and we know this area this area this whole area we know right a right so what is the formula of mass in terms of density and volume tell me 
everyone it is density into volume yes or no and volume is area into height anyone have any issue in this tell me anyone have any issue in this no so can i replace mass with this so i'll just replace it rho ah into g divided by a so a a will get cancelled right a a will get cancelled now can i say that okay pressure pressure is now rho g h right means if we know the density of any liquid at if we know the height at which we want to find the pressure okay right then we can find the pressure of that liquid at given point yes or no i hope all of you remember this formula from class 9th this is the very basic formula that we studied in class 9th itself right so what does this formula say this formula say that as we go down the right as we go down right as the height of the liquid and this height of the liquid is calculated from the top not bottom okay right as we go down just think about it now just think about it right just think about anything which is going inside an ocean right as it go down the pressure will increase or decrease think about it the pressure will increase or decrease increase right got it makes sense now makes sense right because the height is increasing so obviously pressure should increase right and even if you think intuitively even if you think intuitively the mass which is above the point that you are talking about okay it is increasing got it right okay right this basic thing about pressure right okay now how many of you remember the basic property of gases tell me right about the pressure now think about it how many of you remember that that if we talk about pressure okay suppose this pressure is p not atmospheric pressure and this is height h and we talk about anything doesn't matter it is gas or liquid because it will have a density rho right okay right and this is height h so tell me what will be the pressure at this point tell me everyone what will the pressure at this point suppose this point is a so what is pressure at point a this is something that we have studied in chemistry right in gas state so tell me what will be the pressure at this point a think about it everyone Koshi, I am saying that at this point is it is P not given. Okay. Yes, very good. So since at this point P not is given, and this is the additional pressure, it will be P not plus rho g h. Yes or no? Tell me. Yes or no? Got it, everyone. Got it. Okay. right so this is what we have already studied in chemistry na okay okay so i hope all of you understood this thing that we just explained okay now this is just the pressure difference between two points suppose we have two point right this point and this point okay this point and this point now can you find the pressure at this point tell me can you find a pressure at this point suppose the height or the height is basically h1 this height is h1 and this height is h2 right this whole height is h2 forget about what is written i'm just asking you this so what is the pressure difference between point p2 and p1 what is pressure difference delta p okay p2 minus p1 right everyone so tell me what is the difference tell me what is the difference think about it think about it everyone suppose here the pressure is p not because it is given as a so p pressure is p not so can i say that okay p1 is equal to p not plus rho g h1 right 
and P2 is what? P2 is P0 plus rho G H2. Yes or no? Tell me yes or no. Right? So what is delta P? What is delta P? Delta P, which is P2 minus P1. Don't you think that P0, P0 will get cancelled? Right? We will have rho G H2 minus H1. Yes or no? Tell me. Yes or no? Think about it. Anyone have any issue in this? Tell me guys, anyone have any issue in this? Clear? Raise your hand. If you have understood this concept, please raise your hand. Right? So whenever a question is asked, right? If the height of a point is changed from H1 to H2, then what is the change pressure? Right? This is how you solve it. Okay. Got it? Okay. Very good, everyone. Okay. Now, how many of you remember, how many of you remember pressure measuring device that we have studied in chemistry? How many of you remember barometer? Tell me how many of you remember barometer? Everyone? Right? We solved lots of problems also. Okay. Yes. So the same thing that we study in chemistry, the same thing is used in physics also. Okay, barometer and manometer. So I hope all of you remember the concept of barometer. Okay, now let's let's see. Let's see how many of you remember this concept. Suppose this is a setup, right? Suppose this is a setup. Okay, I hope all of you can see the setup, right? And this, this bulb. Okay, suppose this bulb has a pressure, okay, P with density, suppose uh, pressure P naught, right, is here, okay, and this have a pressure P, P pressure, which is unknown pressure, okay, this is height H naught, this is height H, right, now, don't you think, don't you think that you just have to think about the force balance equation, yes or no, tell me, yes or no. Yes, right? Okay, now at this point, if the pressure at this point is P, then pressure at this point is also P. Yes or no guys, tell me, yes or no? Okay, and this, this height is H naught and the gas which is filled over here had, has a density of rho naught. So what is the pressure because of gas at height H naught? Tell me, what do you think? The density of gas is rho naught and height is H naught. So what's the pressure at point A? Pressure at point A. Tell me. Don't you think that it should be okay? It should be P plus P naught rho, sorry, rho G H naught. Rho naught, what I'm writing. Rho, rho naught G H naught. Yes or no? Got it? Yes or no? Okay. Because pressure at point P, pressure at point P, this point P is equal to this P point. Okay. This pressure at point P is equal to this point P, right? Because it's on the same level, right? And pressure at the same level is equal. So this is pressure at P, okay? Now, this is height H1, H1. We just saw that, right? Pressure at point P, okay? Pressure at any point is given as the initial pressure, right? Plus the pressure due to height, okay? which is your rho g h. This is the basic formula. Now, this rho is the density of this gas, which is given as rho naught, right? So pressure at A is equal to pressure of this point, right? Plus pressure due to this gas of height h naught. So it is rho naught g h naught. Okay, Jitendra, I explained once again. Okay, got it. So this is the pressure at height h uh, H naught at point A. Got it? Now, let's talk about point B. 
Okay, let's talk about point B. Now, what is the formula? Okay, what is the formula till point B on this one, this case? Pressure on point B, pressure on point B should be equal to what? This is initial pressure, P naught at this height, P naught plus, right? And there's a liquid till height H. There's a liquid till height H. Think about it, right? This is a liquid now. And the density of liquid is given as, right? Suppose rho M is density of liquid, GH. Anyone have any issues? Tell me, anyone have any issues? Till now, anyone have any issues? Okay. So now A and B are of same level. Yes or no? A and B are at same level. Got it, everyone? A and B are same level, na? Yes or no? Right? So if A and B are same level, then the pressure should be equal. Right? Then the pressure should be equal. Okay? So can I equate these two? Can I equate these two? Right? Try to equate these, these two. If you equate these two, right, what we will get? We will get this. P plus rho naught G H naught. I'll just rub these. Okay? is equal to P naught plus rho m g h. Okay, got it, right? So I can find either P or P naught or whatever is missing from this expression. Right, everyone? Everyone got this concept? Right, Samya, okay, very good. Akshaya, Koshi, Khushi, Anjali, Chulika. Khushi is not present. Dia, Priyanka, Sai Smuti, Samya, Maya is also absent, Shreya, everyone, okay, very good, right? So this is the concept that we used, okay, this is the concept that we used in barometer as well as manometer, okay, right? So Maya is present, very good, okay, got it, right? Now, I hope all of you remember the construction and working of Manometer, sorry, barometer, yes or no? Tell me. Yes or no? Yes, okay, very good. So let's solve some basic problem based on this concept, okay, right? Solve some basic problem based on this concept, right? Okay, so this is one problem, everyone. Try to solve this. This is one problem. Everyone, try to solve by your own. First of all, try to solve by your own. Okay. So that is enough hint. Now try to solve. Okay. So tank of square cross section, which is given, is filled with water up to height 2.5 meter. Find the thrust experienced by vertical and bottom of the tank. Okay. Find the bottom first. Okay, find the bottom first. Bottom is quite easy. You don't have to do anything for bottom. Okay. okay. So try to find the bottom portion. I hope all of you find can find the bottom portion, right? Force at bottom portion. It's easy. 
because force is nothing but tell me force is nothing but pressure into area so you can find the pressure at bottom part yes or no tell me right think about it so this is quite easy i guess this is quite easy for everyone i hope all of you can could solve this okay right everyone raise your hand how many of you can solve this one Th thrust at bottom surface everyone right it is basic formula putting getting okay pressure into area rho gh into area okay now the issue was at vertical surface even though the formula that we studied right is same pressure into area but when you think about it when you think about it right at this part at this vertical column okay the pressure will be at this part will vary yes or no right will vary because when you talk about the bottom when you talk about the bottom all the points are at same level all the points are at same level yes or no tell me yes or no so i can say that okay the force on all the part will be same okay but can we say the same thing on this surface can i say the same thing on this surface no right so obviously i cannot use the same concept over here because it is not constant right the height is varying so the force and pressure is also varying right so let's see so we know that force is equal to if pressure is varying it is integration of p dot da yes or no tell me yes or no and where da is this tell me length into dx this length of the wire this length into this dx right this is the area this small elemental area i'm checking so integration of this p we know that the formula of pressure at any point x is rho gx yes or no tell me yes or no at any point x from the top it is rho gx and the area of this elemental part is length length this length into dx anyone have any issue in this tell me anyone have any issue in this i have just written a basic formula anyone have any issue no okay so i can say that okay rho is constant g is constant length of this uh, this tang is constant so i'll just take it outside rho g l integration of x dx so i hope all of you know what is integration of x dx and it will be from 0 to h you know this 0 to this whole h so what is integration of x everyone tell me integration of x is x integration of x is x square by 2 yes because integration of x power n is x to power n plus 1 by n plus 1 okay so can i say that the pressure okay or the force at this level will be rho g l h square by 2 got it yes or no so this is the force or thrust at the vertical wall so this is you can remember it or write it as a formula or you can just derive it whenever you want okay anyone okay got it everyone right so i can say that this is the pressure at the vertical column which is half of the pressure which is experienced at the bottom right now don't you think that you should make the bottom portion stronger as compared to the side portion or if you see the tank uh, this big tubs okay big tanks the bottom portion is comparatively stronger or thicker as compared to the sides right because they experience more pressure as compared to the side portion right everyone okay i hope all of you got this problem yes or no tell me all of you got this problem based on basic formula yes okay very good now let's try one more problem based on the same thing let's try one more problem okay try solving this try solving this i'll give you 2 minutes don't worry okay 
these problems are basically concepts. That's why I want you to attempt first, right? Instead of just remembering the formula, just try to attempt it. Then we will go through the problem. Okay, attempt it, guys. Now, when we talk about this problem, what does this problem say? Right? Let's see what this problem says. So a vertical YouTube uniform cross section contain mercury in both, it, both in arms. So let's see the diagram. So this is the diagram, right everyone? Right? I hope all of you can draw this. Right? I hope all of you could draw this. Okay? U-shape. Okay. Now, a glycerine half density this column length 10 centimeters introduced in one arm, right? So see this portion, this portion is filled with what? Tell me, this portion is filled with what? Given mercury, yes or no, right? Got it, mercury. Okay, now in A, glycerin is introduced and in this, some oil is introduced, right? So this problem is totally based on Pressure, yes or no? This point is totally based on pressure. Now, it is given that, it is given that, right? If they are on the same horizontal level, right? Means point A, this point, and this point C are same. Okay, are same, right? Got it? Then find the length of the oil column. Now, think about it. Don't you think that this is same as... Uh, the previous problem where we will ex we will equate the pressure tell me yes or no yes or no right now let's take a, this level this level take this level right okay take this level and suppose that this is given as 10 suppose this length length of the oil is x that's what we have to consider right length of the oil is x okay right now we know that pressure at point b will be just because of glycerin. Pressure at point B will be just because glycerin. So pressure at point B is because the pressure P naught here and here will be same. So I'm just ignoring that, okay, right? So pressure at point B will be because of glycerin. So pressure of glycerin, because atmospheric pressure is not mentioned here, right? So if atmospheric pressure is not mentioned, then we won't be taking it, okay? And even if you take it, it will be cancelled. Now, when you talk about this point E, this point E, tell me, above this point E, what are the liquids that is present over here? Tell me, is it just oil or oil and mercury both? Is it just oil or oil and mercury both? Both, right? Very good, Ria. So can I say that, can I say that pressure at point B, which is due to glycerin, pressure due to glycerin should be equal to pressure due to oil plus pressure due to mercury in this level D to E. Okay, got it everyone? I hope all of you got this concept. All of you got this, yes or no? Tell me, this is the basic concept, right? After this, it is just formula putting getting. Yes or no? Tell me, yes or no, right? So pressure due to oil is rho G X, rho G X. Pressure due to mercury, this height is 10 minus x. So 10 minus x rho hg into g. And this is 10 rho g, right? D is used as density. I'm using rho, doesn't matter. Solve it, everything is given. You will get the answer as x is equal to 9.6. Okay, got it everyone? Tell me, got it? Karishma, Riya, Sumaya, Soumya. Soumya is absent, I guess. She is in her room. Soumya is... Okay, Meet, Mansi, Krishna, Koshi, Jasharan, Anjali, Pritam, Priyanka, everyone got it? Okay, very good. So I hope all of you understood this concept and how to use this formula. Yes or no? Yes? Okay, very good. Right? Very good. Now, suppose here, think about it. I'll ask you a simple problem, right? The pressure is depending on what? Force as well as force as well as area. Yes or no? Tell me, yes or no? Right? 
Now, if somehow I change the force, if somehow I change the force, right? Will pressure will change? Tell me. Will pressure change? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, very good. Pressure will change for sure. And how can we change the force? Tell me, how can we change the force, right? So there's one height of the liquid, right? Is there any other method to do that? Think about it. Think from the uh, teacher point of view, right? Who will set the paper? Okay, think from his point of view, right? How can you use your mechanics? How can you use your mechanics, right? To change the force. Think about it, right? Suppose I'm having a liquid, okay? Right? This is the same thing that I'm doing. I'm having a liquid in a container, okay? Like a container like this, okay? And we have liquid till height h. Suppose we have liquid till this height, okay? Right? Now, is there any other way the liquid is present over here, okay? Liquid is present inside this, okay? We have liquid here, okay? Is there any other way to change the pressure apart from the height? Tell me, think about it. Think about it, guys. No, container is same, no? You cannot change the container, right? Container is fixed. Okay, container is same. Think about it, use mechanics, right? Use mechanics. No, you cannot compress it. Again, volume, you cannot change, right? That's what we assume, na? That's what we assumed, right? We will not changing the volume. Yes, very good, Ronak, right? So the first thing that Ronak said, right, first, right, is accelerate it. Okay, right, accelerate it in this direction. So we will have additional force because when you talk about pressure, when you talk about pressure, pressure is force per unit area, yes or no? Tell me, yes or no, right? So when you talk about now, now it is having only one force which is down direction mg, okay? Think about it, right? I hope all of you have observed this, right? Just think about it. Suppose take a glass of water, okay? Take a glass of water, okay? Right? And try to pull it, right? Don't you think that sometimes what is spilled? Okay, think about it, right? I hope all of you observe this. Now, why this happens? Think about it, why this happens? Don't you think that there's a, any external force which is applying on the liquid? That's why the water is like spilling out, yes or no? Okay? And when you talk about physical term, right? When you talk about in terms of force, if I'm applying a force in this direction, I'm applying a force in this direction, right? Will there be force on this liquid? Yes or no? Tell me, will there be any force on this liquid? Yes or no? Tell me, just message me yes or no. Think about it, it is not that difficult to think, right? Yes or no? Yes, okay, very good. And the direction of force will be in which direction? This is direction A and this is direction B, right? So direction A or direction B? Very good, right? Because this force, right, will apply or because of this force, we'll have a pseudo force on this liquid. So it will be in this direction, right? And same force F, okay, got it? or same acceleration, so it will be negative direction. Yes or no, tell me, yes or no. Okay, right? Now, what would be the level of liquid? Think about it, what would be the level of liquid? Will it be same as this one or will it change? What have you observed? What have you observed? Will it be like this or will it be like this? The level of liquid will be like this or the previous one, tell me. This is the second case, okay? Mm 
this deep blue one is the second level tilted one right don't you think yes or no okay got it now think from the teacher point of view what what type of question can be formed from this equation right or this whole circumstance what type of question can be formed just think it right then we'll try to solve the problem okay right first of all we have to create a problem what can be asked tell me what can be asked yes okay angle of the surface or the tilt or this height can be asked yes or no right yes okay okay right how we will calculate that's another issue i'll just try to see the problem first of all you have to understand the problem okay now this is the first way what is the second way tell me yes very good abhiram that is the second way right rotation hai na rotation right now when we will start rotating it from this level suppose we start with this on the diagram is a black one okay now suppose we have one container okay right which i'm rotating at the bit uh, from bottom okay and we have a liquid till this level suppose we have a liquid till this level initially we have liquid till this level now what will happen to this liquid now yes very good samya funnel shape will be formed right so the level will be something like this something like this okay depending on how fast we are rotating okay the shape of funnel will be perfect right but it will be something like this yes or no right depending on the speed it will it may become like this also okay make sense anyone have any issue in this tell me so if you see from the physics point of view both of these cases are actually same yes or no tell me yes or no right both of these cases are actually same the external force right if you see this see the half of this na see the half of this if you ha see half of this it is same as the first one yes or no right in this case i'll tell you how this is same in this case when you are applying a force in this direction a pseudo force in this direction is being applied yes or no but when you are rotating what is happening tell me when you are rotating a centrifugal force will make this water to rise up yes or no tell me got it right so now now you are uh yeah so now you understood how these two cases are actually same right okay right so this is my problem okay this is my problem right now the second thing is how to solve it right how to solve it now think about it we only know this formula p is equal to rho by sorry p is equal to force per unit area till now my formula was very simple force was rho g into v and v was area into height area area was can getting cancelled right it was rho g a v a h by a it was getting cancelled right okay but now we have another force okay now this f is not only this apart from this we have one another component because of either grab the centrifugal force or this pseudo force right okay now how to take these forces in account that's my problem okay right so let's see this let's see how to take take these into accounts okay so think about it right 
think about it. This is the same case that we discussed, yes or no. Right, this is the same case that we discussed. Okay, wait guys, yeah, sorry. Tell me, this is the same case that we discussed, yes, agree. So, <laughs> so this is linear accelerated motion. Okay, now, Suppose we take, suppose we take any small element, right? We know that the pressure should be same at the two points. Yes or no? But can it be same here? Tell me, can it be same here? Think about it. Suppose we have point this and point this, right? Will it be same at these two points? Will pressure be same at these two points? Think about it, right? Think about it, think logically. Tell me, I'm saying that this point, this point is A and this point is B. This is point A, this is point B, right? So will pressure at point A equal to pressure at point B? Everyone think and reply. No, no, nah, no, right? Because the height of liquid at this point is not same as the height of liquid at this point. It's basic common sense, right? So since heights are not equal, I cannot say that the pressure will be same. Yes or no, right? Yes or no. Now, but you can find the pressure difference, P2 minus P1. Suppose this is P2 or PB minus PA. Can you find PB minus PA? Think about it, yes or no, right? Because this is something that we have done already, right? So suppose the change in length, right? The change in length, suppose this is H1, this is H1, and this is H2, H2. So this is nothing but rho G H2 minus H1. I hope all of you remember this, that we did, right? When point is at this point, right? But don't even, this is the same case, right? This is the same case. Yes, agree. Okay. And if I consider this H2 minus H1, which is change in length is as X. So can I say that P2 minus is equal to GX? Yes or no? Yes or no? Ask yourself questions like this. The basic concept and ask yourself question like this. Now, second question that you should ask is, Will X be a constant or a variable as you move from this point to this point? Because if you see at this point, X was zero, X is equal to zero, yes or no, right? But as you move from this point to this point, this point, right? This point X will become this, yes or no? Right? So I can say that this X is a variable, this X is a variable. Okay, so I understood about these things. Anyone have any issues? Tell me, anyone have any issues? Tell me, till this point, anyone have any issues? Yes or no? Raise your hand. Okay, I hope no one have any issues. Very good. So I understood that change in delta P is equal to rho G x where x is this height this height okay which is varying now what is acceleration in x-axis tell me what is acceleration is x-axis it is a yes or no it is a and what is acceleration is y-axis or i can say that it is d v x x by dt or d x square by dt square Yes or no? In the same way, acceleration in y-axis is g, which is d square y by dt square. Any issue in this? Tell me, any issue in this, step by step? Tell me, yes or no? So can I say that? Can I say that using this? Okay, d square y by dt square Okay, by d square x by dx square, sorry, dt square is equal to g by, sorry. 
it is opposite right this should be g by a okay g by a right yes or no yes or no tell me okay right and since since dy by dx will have same ratio as d square y by dx square okay i can write this it is g by a by the way it should be g by a okay anyone have any issue in this tell me anyone have any issue in this okay so yes so if this is right okay so this is that we understood this is also we understood okay so this is point here to here and this is here to here right got it tell me got it yes or no right everyone okay now can we equate these two tell me can we equate these two think about it the pressure change from this point to this point and this point to this point right should be same na yes or no tell me yes or no because the change in height is also same right okay got it right okay so just equate these two if you equate these two right i will get what i will get this right equating these two i'll get this right everyone tell me yes or no sorry sorry guys this was this is correct only right that is wrong okay that's something else equating these two we will get this my bad right okay now what is this what is dy by dx what is dy by dx y by x what is y by x it is tan theta yes or no tan theta got it right so i hope all of you understood how to get this slope or this height okay so in general this is the formula this is the formula of your slope as simple as that a by g tan theta is equal to a by g okay got it right everyone right everyone any issues okay okay yes okay now next concept next concept that we are going to study is something called pascal's law okay that you have already studied right what is the meaning of pascal's law now think about it when you talk about any container okay when you talk about any container okay think about any container suppose we have a liquid okay now what does pascal's law say that when you talk about the pressure when you talk about the pressure right pressure at this point or this point or this point or this point or this point tell me if it is in same level if it is in same level will it be same or different will it be same or different think about it same or different tell me guys we just discussed this right we just discussed this can you hear me everyone can hear me yes so please answer will it be same or different same or different pressure at 
different point on this level. Same, right? So can I say that, okay, the pressure is distributed throughout this line, okay, throughout this level, right, without diminishing? Tell me, yes. Okay, right? Now, suppose, suppose you take this container, like this container. A container like this. Sorry guys. Okay, now suppose I want to fill it with water, right? I want to fill it with water and I start from filling here. Okay, right? I start from here. Think about it. I start from filling from here. Okay, now my question is, my question is, right? Suppose you fill some amount of water, right? Some of, amount of water. So at equilibrium, will it be like this? Will the water be at same level? Or different level. Tell me, at equilibrium, will water be at same level or different level? Think about it. Will it be at same level or different level? Same level. So that's quite intuitive, right? That it should be same level. Yes or no? Right? Because we just discussed if it's Pressure, pressure would be same at same level. Yes or no? Tell me, yes or no? Right, this is what we studied. Okay, got it everyone? Right, now what do you think? What do you think about the forces? Because when you talk about force, when you talk about force, this is a very interesting thing. Okay, this is how the, this concept have very, uh, useful application okay but just think about this what about force right wait wait what happened yeah when you talk about force this force suppose this force is f1 and this area is a1 and this force is f2 and area is a2 a2 right i'm saying that according to what we know the pressure at this point and this point should be equal right that's your pascal's principle okay that is your pascal's principle so pascal says that right doesn't matter okay pascal basically said this at the same level right at the same level same liquid have same pressure okay got it in simple term i just said it in simple term yes or no right now, let's say, suppose I'm saying that, suppose this is point A and this is point B. I'm saying that according to this, PA should be equal to PB. Yes or no? Tell me, yes or no? Okay. Now, what is PA? Tell me guys, what is PA? What is PA? What will be PA? PA will be F1 by A1, yes or no? Right? What about PB? What about PB? PB will be F2 by A2. Right? As simple as that. No hi-fi things, very basic concept, yes or no? Okay, now how many of you think about hydraulic brakes, hydraulic levers, or hydraulic pumps? How many of you heard about these hydraulic lifts? Yes, 
everyone almost now what do you think what is the principle behind them if i say that this is this is the principle behind them right is it fine is it right that okay this is the principle behind them yes or no think about it because i can say that f2 will be nothing but f1 by a1 into a2 yes or no yes so on a very high area the force should also be very high got it yes or no tell me yes or no so this is the principle behind hydraulic levers okay understood everyone tell me understood was this easy concept or very difficult concept i hope this is easy concept to understand right yes or no tell me right and in statement in statement as i said in statement you can say that right this if there is any change in pressure any change in pressure change in pressure okay right in an enclosed incompressible liquid right so i'm just not writing it because i told you it should be like a uh, same liquid right okay so i'm just not writing it is that term enclosed incompressible liquid right is transmitted throughout the liquid okay throughout the liquid without diminishing right throughout the liquid without diminishing without diminishing got it tell me yes or no tell me got it right i hope all of you understood this i hope all of you understood this that's a very basic thing okay okay very good right everyone okay so let's try some concept as based on this okay let's try some concept as based on this don't worry i'll take it slow i hope that all of you are understanding each and every concept guys i hope all of you are understanding each and every concept just raise your hand yes or no okay very good right now try to solve this concept test i'll give you one minute try to think then answer Okay, Abraham. Everyone, please answer. Only Abraham answer till now. Doesn't matter if you are right or wrong. Just answer whatever you think according to concept. Just answer. Okay, Samya. Very good. Guys, try to take like participate in this, right? Okay, then only you will learn, na? Right? try to answer whatever answer is rn shri hari os this is very basic it should not take that much time okay okay i got six answers till now think about it 
everyone, Ria, Sanya, Anjali, Sneha, Anamika, Koshi, Tulip, Sumaya. Think about it and answer. You just have to choose one answer. Okay, let's see what's the answer, right? The answer is B, okay? The answer is B. How come, right? How come? Let's see, now. Now think about it. It is base, basic concept, right? Why? We know that, I hope all of you remember the example that I gave you. If we have two liquids, if it is in equilibrium, the level of this liquid and level of this liquid will be same, yes or no? Think about it, yes or no? Start with asking doubts, right? Yes? So level of this liquid and level of this liquid is same. And it is said that A and B are at same level. So it doesn't matter what is the shape, right? It doesn't matter what is the shape because the pressure is only associated with height. If the density is same, then rho GH, right? Doesn't matter what the area is, yes or no? Does it matter that whatever the area is, pressure has nothing to do with area. It does just depending on H. So for A and B point, H is same, now H is same, right? So H is same, so obviously pressure will be same. Now when you talk about point C, for point C, this H is greater than this H. Yes or no? So pressure at C should also be greater than pressure at A, which is equal to pressure at B. Got it, everyone? Okay, right? Okay, very good. Next concept test. Think about it, guys. Next concept test. Take two minutes, try to think. Okay, wait, I'll zoom the pick. The force is 3i naught plus 4j, 3i cap plus j cap, 4j cap. 3i cap minus 4j cap, sorry. Got it, right? Okay. Now tell me what's the answer? Okay, C. Think about it, guys. Think about it. What is the force in y-axis? Tell me, what is the force in y-axis? I hope all of you understood the problem, right? Okay, let's see. The answer is C. Okay, right? Why? Because when you talk about this, okay, when you talk about this, the pressure change will be because of force, yes or no? Tell me, yes or no? Right? And force, when you talk about force, force will be same because it is in y-axis. Force will be same, external force will be same, okay, right? Yes, 
okay i told you if any pressure right in last statement if any pressure right is or if there's any change in pressure it will tell me it will be transferred undiminished right so just consider this point consider this point the topmost point right p point so area is given and this is given so what is the pressure at point p what is the change in pressure at point p because of this eight only na right so if the change in pressure at point p is eight then q should also be eight yes or no tell me yes or no according to pascal's principle got it everyone tell me everyone got this concept yes understood okay right okay next concept think about it guys think about it take your time and try to think and answer okay very good right yes very good everyone the answer is b right very good riya very good samya very good abiram so all of you understood the concept doesn't matter it will be b right okay so we studied this also let's see this concept test in the given figure water accidentally gets spilled in youtube filled with mercury right what can you say about the pressure at point a and b tell me pressure at a and b will it be same or different so a b c d it's given think about it you don't have to calculate you just have to think Okay, Samya, very good. We will see what's the answer. Okay, Riya. Okay, Sanya. Amart. Okay, Shreyari. Okay. Now let's see. This is based on basic concept, right? Okay. and i can get lots of answers the answer is c the answer is c right so those who are whose answer is c they are right now think about it na think about it right think about c either it can be a or c b and d cannot right cannot be the answer because think about it when you talk about topmost point topmost point the topmost point pressure is just same na think about it right there's nothing over here yes or no so either it is p not or nothing yes or no tell me yes or no ask yourself right so pressure of c and d are always equal right now what about a and b i told you the pressure at a and b will be equal only when the liquid is same yes or no yes or no right now in this case is it a same liquid tell me is a and b right same liquid 
because if i'm saying just think about it you know, if i'm saying that pressure at this point at this point is same which means pressure due to this water and this mercury is same which is not correct this is wrong right okay got it so the answer is c i hope all of you got your concept clear tell me guys right yes okay very good right okay that's it for today's class okay i hope all of you understood the basic concept we are just taking it this chapter slow okay in next class we'll talk about buoyancy right so i request you guys if you can watch the videos okay or read ncert that's it that's what i require from you guys okay watch videos or read ncert you should pre read okay right right in next class we will start buoyancy right then we will study bernoulli's principle okay got it right so these things these two concepts will cover in next class i hope all of you understood today's class there is no homework for this but please try to complete the previous chapters okay right okay thank you everyone bye everyone have a nice day hello sir yeah kashma i can't hello, hear sir. you properly yeah yeah kashma